Hey, what is up you guys? It's Tony Fair from St. Thomas Ford Lincoln. Once again, having a closer look at one of our available vehicles. Today we're looking at the 2022 Lincoln Aviator. We're really excited about this video. Let's check it out. So a couple facts about Lincoln before we move forward and check out the vehicle a little bit more. Lincoln has a four year 80 bumper to bumper warranty, six year 110 for the powertrain. So the expensive stuff is obviously covered longer. And we also have free pickup and drop off uh, for any Lincoln that's 2018 and newer for life. So at our dealership anyways, we'll drive up to an hour. Um, if you never want to come in for service, repairs or recalls, you never have to. We'll actually drive out to you, bring you a Lincoln loaner and take yours in for service, which is pretty sweet. So a couple things about the about the Lincoln Aviator. It's uh, it's built on the Explore platform in the same plant in Chicago. Um, so same general size, but a totally different animal. So uh, it comes with a 10-speed transmission and a twin turbo V6. It's a three liter EcoBoost, cranking at about 400 horsepower. And one thing that I'm really impressed with is that we actually borrowed a similar drivetrain from the Range Rover so that it has a, a rear wheel drive based, all wheel drive platform so that when you really need to get up on, on the accelerator and and uh and get up to some speeds it'll actually push all the power to the back wheels if you're driving it you'll actually feel it kind of squat down and just launch forward which is really sick all right so we've got a nice bold classy front end here uh, again this particular one is in flight blue and it has sandstone interior these are the standard 19 inch machined aluminum wheels you can get these all the way up to a 22 inch uh, depending on what your what your package is that you've chosen this is one of the many colors that they offer flight blue just to show you guys a little bit of the cargo space you guys can expect. So it is ample, right? Uh, this is basically, it's a full size, uh, a full size SUV with three rows there. Um, there's, a, there's a good amount of room in, this, in the third row, not a ton of cargo space. If you're looking for the third row and a ton of cargo space, the Aviator uh, is not quite big enough for you and you need to actually go up to a Navigator or a foreign expedition. So I'll show you what we got here for leg room in the second row, pretty good. So bringing these seats up. These are still a manual seat, but there's actually a quick release here to fold down the seat. And um, we got some great second row leg room. This is a flow through passageway. You're always gonna have a cup holder and some storage space in the bottom here. You can actually also opt to get a full command center here where rather than having to reach uh, here for their um, heated seats, their climate control, their moon roof and their, and their media options, it'd all be right here, easier um, uh, to access. Or you can get a full second row uh, bench seat to make it a full seven passenger. It'd be two, three, two, rather than two, two and two. And obviously, like anything else, you get our signature uh, twin panel moonroof. All right, guys, we're going to get inside and as usual, move left to right and showing you the bells and whistles and the features of this car. All right, so as always, moving left to right uh, to go over the options in the interior of the cabin. So as you can see here, Lincoln did an, a really good job with the materials and the colors, how they contrast and complement each other. Um, it's just a really, really nice front deck here. Um, this is the sandstone interior, it used to be called cappuccino. You get a nice dark, almost like a walnut wood insert there. Um, that can be swapped out for a brushed aluminum applique instead, if that's what you prefer. Just a really nice interior, probably the most popular configuration so far. Um, yeah, moving left to right. So we got our, our seat adjusters actually on the door panel rather than uh, on, by the side of the vehicle, something that most luxury vehicles do. Sorry, uh, rather than at the side of the seat, uh, something that most luxury vehicles do. And now it's at the side with uh, lumbar support and memory seating. As you can tell here, it does have extra speakers because it is the Revel 2 audio system. So nine speakers, very clean, crisp quality sound system. And our usual power features here along with uh, power folding mirrors. And you can actually lock the second row so that the kids can't fiddle with the um, uh, with the windows. Automatic headlamps and dimmer switches and things of that sort. And one thing that actually Lincoln's done here is um, they actually do a really good job with keeping things nice and user friendly. There's a lot of options, but they don't make it overwhelming. Um, they basically illuminate what's needed. So if I actually, right now you can see this cruise control button. If I click this, I'll have some options here to set and resume and cancel. But if I want that out of the way, you know, it, 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 uh, it'll turn off and I can have my selections here for my media and nav prompts and different types of uh, menus. That's a full digital uh, console, sorry, di full digital cluster. Um, and you can configure this to your liking with TPMS sensors and fuel economy and even what they call the comm screen would literally get rid of everything except for your, uh, your digital speedometer. One thing I think is really cool and smart that they did is they put the voice command button right here. Most people drive with their hands at 10 and two anyways. So this is very ergonomically pleasing to get your voice commands for calling and, and uh, nav prompts and things like that. 
Moving up to, over to the center stack, you're all gonna come standard with this large screen uh, with the Sync 3 system. Uh, next, your Sync 4 is gonna be available. Where you're gonna have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, uh, the navigation, and like any other touch screen, nav wood, uh, just a really good smart system. And we got our dual zone climate control here. One thing that the, pretty much all the Lincolns are using now is they have this nice uh, sort of piano key like uh, transmission selector, um, as opposed to the, the buttons that were on the, on the side there. No, no dial and no gear shift either. We've got some nice storage space that can be tucked away and kept nice and clean and, and low key. Different driving modes for your different types of conditions. If you're like us in Ontario right now, we're getting a lot of snow, so we need to be um, mindful of that. And so we've got slippery conditions and deep conditions. It'll adjust your um, your your gearing to the type of conditions that you're driving in. Pretty sweet. Electronic parking brake, full console, and then what's actually really nice here is you know really people shouldn't have their phone anyways in the drive, so you tuck your phone away, you slide it in here, and you got your wireless charging pad. But lots of storage space. It's a really nice vehicle. All right, so that was a very brief overview on the 2022 Lincoln Aviator. Uh, for more information on this vehicle or vehicles like it, you can contact me in my information below. Thanks for watching.